Hey there, fellow educator, Dr. Ray here of the Learning Liaisons. And in this video, we're gonna answer the question, can you lose your job just because you can't pass your teacher certification exams? So before we jump into that discussion, make sure you hit that like button. Uh, it helps out with helping other teachers in your situation to see this video as a suggestion. I want you to also drop a comment below. Let me know if you yourself or you know somebody uh, that have unfortunately lost their job because of their certification exams. And go ahead and click that notification bell. This way you're aware when we when we pump out these videos each week. And I also like to know what kind of content areas of discussion you like to see me cover in these videos. And you can drop that in the comments below. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so if you're a college student right now getting your degree in education, you already know that you have to pass your exams in order to walk and get that diploma. So this video is primarily uh, focused for my good people out there that are in the alternative certification track, meaning you got a job or you're looking to get a job in the field of education uh, and your degree is not in education. So you're under the gun, you have a lot of requirements from your statement of eligibility, and some of those requirements are passing your certification exams. So it doesn't matter if you live in Florida, in Texas, in uh, Massachusetts, in Tennessee, in California, Nevada, uh, North or South Dakota, it's all the same. You have a series of exams that you have to pass in order to keep your job. So to answer that question of the video, can I lose my job solely because I couldn't pass a certification test? And the answer to that question is yes. Now, I know that sucks. I know you're like, oh my God, I can't believe that will happen. Some of you guys are probably watching this and thinking, yeah, I'm under the gun right now, Dr. A, and I don't know what I'm gonna do. I gotta, I gotta pass my test in the next couple of months or else I'm gonna lose my position. First off, before I even get to this discussion, if you're a new teacher, right? A first year teacher or even a second or third year teacher, depending on the guidelines of your specific state, because they're all different. You should already know by now that you have to pass your certification exams, whether it's the FTC in Florida or the Texas in Texas, or maybe you're doing Praxis uh, in, in one of the 30 to 35 states that do that, maybe CBEST in California, whatever it is. If you're in the classroom teaching and you're on a statement of eligibility and you don't have your professional certificate, by now, while you're watching this video, you should already know what your deadline is. If you don't know what your deadline is and you know for a fact you have to pass exams, or maybe you're not even sure, you need to immediately stop this video and go talk to your talk to your district certification people because I've been helping teachers pass their certification exams for about six years now. And I could, whenever I talk in these videos, I'm very transparent. I can honestly tell you right now, that I have been at school districts that I partner with and I go do live presentations or teachers call me on the phone or whatever. And some of them, when I tell them the exams they have to pass, like, I didn't know how to do that. No one told me. Well, the reality of it, and this might rub some of you guys the wrong way, and I don't mean to do any harm or agitate you, but school districts, wherever you teach, they by law, send out notifications, whether it's hard copy, snail mail, email, calling. They tell you numerous times the exams that you have to take. If for some reason you're not getting any communication, you need to take it upon yourself to go to the certification office or call them and keep calling them to make sure that, that you're meeting all your requirements on your statement of eligibility. Now, at the end of the day, the onus is on you because you're issued the state of eligibility and it says everything on there. But I know sometimes things uh, slip throughout the cracks. All certification departments are not considered equal across the United States. You might have your own opinions on yours, but at the end of the day, it comes down to you. So back to that question again, can I lose my job because of an exam? And the answer is yes. Unfortunately, I've had a lot of people call me after they lost their job needing help because of several reasons. Number one, uh, they weren't aware of it until the last minute because they got so boggled down with lesson plans and district trainings and life in general and second jobs that they were really pushed up back against the wall with limited time to study and they only had one shot and they failed, right? Or two, which is the biggest one, is I know that you're busy. Listen, when I was still in the classroom teaching, and I've been through this process, I wouldn't be doing this, I wouldn't be creating the learning liaisons and helping teachers if I didn't actually suffer from this myself, um, struggling with these exams. So 
at the end of the day, like I said before, it, it's on you to pass these exams. So if you're a first year teacher, second year teacher, third year teacher, especially our first year teachers, I know, I know from experience that there's a lot on your plate between doing lesson plans, doing district requirement trainings. Maybe your leadership has some things in the schools that you have to do. Maybe you're all gung ho with extracurricular activities. Heck, maybe you're like me and had two part time jobs whilst teaching, uh, teaching full time in the classroom. And I'm sure the many of you can fall in that category, having multiple jobs to help you and, you and your family. But here's the real situation about it. You are going to lose your job if you don't meet your requirements. And some one of those main requirements is your certification exams. You need to, you must, and it's an imperative that you prepping for your exam is at the top of the list, right? Obviously your health and your family come first, but you need to realize that without passing that exam, it doesn't matter if you're the varsity coach of a high school football team or or softball team or a middle school team or whatever it is. I don't care if you got a job that you're the, the band instructor. It doesn't matter because at the end of the day, your state, your school district cannot keep you if you don't meet those requirements. I have got so many phone calls, especially at the filming of this video uh, is, is being launched in February 2022. Right now in February, all the way through April and squeezing into May, depending on the states, is when teachers start freaking out. Don't freak out. You should have. Now, we're not gonna beat a dead horse here, but you should have already been prepping in the previous year, always leading up to the holidays. I always tell people October, November, you should start your preparations and try to pass your exams before the new year so you don't have to worry about this stuff. But I am a realist. I understand based on my experience of doing this for so many years that most teachers push this stuff back. They procrastinate and I get it. I get it 100%. But now your back is up against the wall. So lots of stuff going on in your life, in school, out of school. But back to that question, can you lose your job? And the answer is yes. So make sure you're taking it upon yourself to make that time and consistency is key. So whether it's giving yourself 30 to 45 minutes every single day in the morning or at night to prep and study and we can help you at the learning liaisons the links are below in the description uh, to help you study and pass your exams but even if you don't use us you need to start that process now this video dropping in february you should be studying 110 percent right now and making sure that you pass your exam on the first attempt now never have the mindset oh i could wait 31 days if i fail and take it again i'll i'll look at the calendar and now it's february so i could do it in march i could do it april i could you should not think that way. It should be mindset is passing on the next or the first attempt and being done. So doing things the right way, making your schedule work, blocking out the noise is so imperative for first attempt success. So you will lose your job if you don't meet your requirements. Now, begging and pleading to your school district is not gonna work unless they can do some kind of extension for you depending on the needs. Now, don't quote me on that. That's dependent on your specific district but your district's hands are tied so i've seen so many people with with highly effective uh ratings from their principals they, they have they they might even be rookie teacher of the year and doing all these extra kids love them that's great i i applaud you that's why you're in this in this situation in this profession to help other people and be proud of the work that you do however just like any other profession and I addressed this in earlier videos on this channel, part of that obstacle on that path towards certification is passing your exams. So please, I beg you, do not keep putting it off. If you need help, also drop a comment below in this video. I'll be happy to point you in the right direction if you need assistance. Um, or if you need somebody just to vent to, feel free to drop a comment below and our contact information is below as well. But I've seen so many good teachers just not putting the effort into their preparation or just not doing it in the right way or putting it off as a last moment ditch effort before the deadline because they think it's easy and then they lose their job. Now, I don't know if that might bother you or not, but that's a full-time position with benefits. So unless you have something to fall back on, we need to really, really take, take perspective on where we're at in this process. See, all right, be honest with yourself. Mm, I haven't done anything yet. This guy's scaring me right now. Let, let me get, let me get at it. Right. 
or maybe you're already studying and you're ready to go and you got your test date coming in the next 30 days. Good for you, I applaud you. But I made this video because yes, you can lose your job. Do teachers lose their job? Yes, a lot of them do because of various circumstances. And one of the biggest ones that I notice is that you just, it's one of two things. Either one, they don't prep the right way and they just try to memorize a bunch of stuff and they wind up failing. Or two, which is very common as well, is they just keep pushing it off, pushing it off. Oh, it's easy, I can go past it, I'll be done. And then they, whoop, bam! They get smacked by ETS or Pearson and they fail. Now the pressure's really on and maybe they can't take it again, maybe they can. And that increased anxiety just causes multiple failures on attempts. Remember, you're very smart. You're very capable. You can pass your exams. However, we got to do it about the right way because you have to remember that your, your test, I don't care if you're taking Praxis, ETS, whatever exam it is, it's not measuring how smart you are or how great of a teacher you are. It's purely a performance that you check in a box to appease your DOE in your state that you pass your exam or your series of exams. So do it the right way, get it done, and always remember, it's when you pass, not if you pass your certification exams. Make sure you like and comment on your way out of this video. Thank you for spending some time with me, and I will catch you in the next video.